Hey everyone, Aussie Viking here for, well, a little video. So I think for me, I'm going to do little videos like this, where we play as the new DLC heroes. First up, General Grievous, as he looks magnificent. Now, I'm sure we've all seen the uh, uh, previews and stuff of everything, because we can't unlock anything, because I haven't unlocked him yet, but we should be able to play him offline. Now, we've all probably seen the video that they released, which allows us to see every little thing. Um, which is awesome. We'll do team battle. We'll do what, what's a good one? Team battle. We'll do a prequel map. We'll do Camino. And we'll do the separatists. Um, play health double uh, health. T we'll do default fast expert free for all. Yes. All right. Cool. So I'm sure we've all seen the video of the trailer, which gave us a little bit of Geonosis, a little bit of uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, and. We got General Grievous. I was playing General Grievous in the original Battlefront today, and it excites me that I can finally play him again in Battlefront 2 2017. Hopefully to do this for every hero they release. Next up, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, I'm doing it on PC because it's easier. I usually play on Xbox where I can unlock everything, but unfortunately that's not going to work because it it's the last update, which sucks a lot. Why are you doing that? Okay, cool. So that's him, and I imagine this next spot here is for, well, Dooku. He looks amazing. So we've got Beating Heart has increased maximum health. We'll equip that one. We got General Grievous does extra damage with all that attacks. Okay. Um, targets further away. Does more damage. Okay. Uh, he gets more health. Always get the health cards when they unlock. After one enemy has been hit, Grievous deals more damage with Claw Rush. Grievous looks more damage with Unrelenting Advance. Um, he takes less damage and he does more damage. I think I think we'll do that one. It drains more stamina though. Let's, let's give him a go. Start off with, oh wow, he looks amazing. Oh, look at him. Look at him. That is, oh, that's beautiful. He looks amazing. Look, look, look. He's slow and powerful. That's, that's beautiful. Um, what is Q? Q is, oh, E is that? Oh my God, that looks amazing. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Bom, 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 bom. Oh, look at it! Look at it! Oh. Oh. I'm I'm sorry, but this is fun. And he can block, but not well. Um, right, what is F? F does? Oh, that that's cool. That is something that was, that was supposed to be in the original Battlefront um, three. He's really good. I'm I'm very impressed. He's actually what is what was Q again? Like, wasn't Q supposed to be? Oh, yeah. Although for some reason it didn't activate until, alright. So they, it activates in close pr proximity. That's awesome. I really think this update's gonna get a lot of people excited until, well, the next update. He can get taken down pretty fast by the looks of it. Cause these guys are taking a fair bit down, but I imagine that's because he is a powerful, powerful foe. But yeah, I think this update with the changes to the UI um, with the squad system, the changes to the squad system, General Grievous, new skins, and health cards for basically every hero. I think that's going to really pull us through until Geonosis, which is less than a month away, 28 days. Or, well, 29 days if you count the fact that tomorrow's the 31st. But, yeah, that's awesome. Boom! I'm excited. I can't wait to see this on my Xbox One X in 4K because my PC, well, good. I can't play games in 4K. So, yeah. Really love. I just, oh, look at him. After so long, we finally have a new hero. A hero that I'm so happy for because I love all of these. All the heroes that they're releasing, they're my favorite. These are my favorite heroes in all the Star Wars Dooku, Obi Wan Kenobi, Grievous, and Anakin. Like, I can't wait. I'm hoping that with the fact that Dice will release better. Uh, field 5 or V or whatever it's called um, that certain instances will be well better so and by that I mean they won't have to rush and do like oh look we've stolen all the Butterfronts um, um, we've stolen all the Butterfronts uh, to developers so now they can actually develop content I'm really hoping that they surprise us how does he die oh yeah, he, he dies like he does in the thingy that's cool 
I, I'm hoping that they get, um, they do it where it's like, okay, here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we are going to now have Obi-Wan, Dooku, and the new game mode all come out at once in January. That'd be awesome. May not happen, but it would be pretty great if it's like, we finally have a shit ton of people to help us out, so you guys are going to get everything you want now. Oh, two does that. It's annoying because on PC I don't know how to do the emotes, although I haven't really have, 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 have any unlocked, but still. But yeah, hopefully they do that because I would love it if they released Duke and Anakin at the same time. Because he is hoping, I think we're all hoping that now that there's a lot more developers back, we're all going to be getting more, I guess you could say, more um, content in the patches. Like the first year was very quality of life, let's be honest here. There's a lot of quality of life um, add-ons to the game in the first year. And then there's a few, there's a four heroes released so far. We would have gotten six heroes if you count Phasma and Finn, but we did not get the last two, which would have been uh, Dooku and Anakin. So within a year, we've basically got four. But he's hoping that next year it's like, okay, you get two maps in an update and uh, skins and shit like that. We're hoping, right? I think by the end of its life cycle, first of all, they confirmed that they're doing a big game mode offline. Awesome. That, plus the ability that they're giving us practically the heroes that we want, at least if you're a Clone Wars fan, plus the fact that they're going to do a lot of quality of life as well. I'm pretty happy. All they have to do is really add uh, the big game mode offline, which hopefully will be very good, and hopefully like Galactic Assault, I mean Galactic Conquest. Um, and then I hope they do something like, oh, here's Droidicus and stuff. Droidicus would be great, and honestly, I want Droidicus. Just give me Droidicus. Let's do E. I'm going to find him, so I want to run into him. I think we will get Droidicus, maybe General Grievous' bodyguards, if we are lucky. Um, easier said than done. Oh, okay. So, oh, you can cancel it. Okay, you can cancel any time. He's, he's kind of, he is a tank. He's a tank. You can move him around. He looks really awesome. Funny he can run upstairs. I love that. That end bit, like he did in the movie, where he's just like, oh, alley up. Oh, guys, guys, guys. This is beautiful. So, hopefully, we get shit like that. Oh, he's on our team. Oh, hello. Boom. Okay, so I, I guess this is where you want to get the ones where you can do more damage. I can definitely see those being a big thing. For me, though, it's always going to be the health cards first. The health cards, and then I'm done. But yeah, this this might be the end. I don't want this to be a big one. I'm sure we've all seen the, the trailers as well. I'm not going to go too crazy over it, but I'm so happy with, from what I've played so far, this this is a fantastic update, and it's only just one character. I can't wait for next month. Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, a new map, new skins. I don't know if they brought any new skins in this. Um, I don't think they did. No, I don't, because I saw on the video that they did, they didn't really mention new skins, and there wouldn't really be any more clone skins, I don't think, for um, Grievous. It would be cool, though, but I doubt it. But yeah, that's Aussie Viking out, really. Um, um, just a quick little playthrough. I'm loving him. I'm loving his... Well, I'm loving this. This oh, well, it doesn't die. So, I'm loving that. I'm loving this move as well, which I imagine... Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. He's going to get... He's going to be getting used to. You can't really... He's going to be getting used to. You can't really fuck, screw him over now. Some of his moves don't actually work unless you're in the vicinity of um, enemies, like the Q. Um, e can work whenever. You just really click it once and go forward, and you're all good. And F as well. So really, two abilities you can use whenever. And one ability is kind of half and half. But can you just imagine seeing Grievous on, like, every map? I cannot wait. Anyway, that's Aussie Viking out. I shall see you all in Valhalla. Oh, hang on. Because he actually did attack Camino in the Clone Wars. See you in Valhalla. Bye.